Okay, hello YouTubers. In this video, I will be reviewing the Sonoff Duel. I have these two LED light bulbs that I will connect to it and um, we'll see how it all works. So let me go ahead and open this up. Okay, so uh, this looks just like Sonoff uh, TH10 or TH16 with a little hole for the sensor. Of course, uh, this is rated for, well, I don't think this part is true. Okay, so the box is contradicting itself. Over here it says maximum single load is 10 amps, but for two loads it's 16, but it just says here 10 amps. So that's kind of weird. But uh, you can do uh, 16 amps total for the two outputs, so it'll be eight, 8 amps a piece, but no more than 10 amps per single load. Okay, so let me go ahead and open this up just to see what's inside. And then we'll connect it and see how it all works. So here are the little tabs. You press them in and you shove the wire in to make all your connections. Let me find a spot to open this up. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Uh, there's nothing much to it. Here are the two relays. There's a fuse in here, so remember if this thing isn't working for you, make sure to check the fuse to see if the fuse is good. We have two LEDs, one LED for the Wi-Fi and another LED for the two channels that you're switching on and off. Oh, interesting. There's also these little pins here for, looks like the buttons, so you can control each one with a manual switch instead of just a Wi-Fi. Let me unscrew this and we'll look to see what's behind it. Okay, very clean looking uh, circuit. Uh, here's the bus bar, bus bars from the two relays. Here's channel one and two. Uh, the neutral here and the hot, I mean, and the hot coming in. It goes through the, through the fuse, goes here. Um, on the other side, that portion goes to the rectifier and then this turns into five volts and over here it gets converted to 3.3. We have a switch, two LEDs. This is a bicolor LED. I'm not sure what the other color is. Let me first go ahead and connect this up and just to see how it works. I don't have the right screwdriver. Oh, and also this circuit board has these little uh, connections you can solder. Here's the positive. I would probably say 3.3 RX, TX, and ground. So this is where if you wanted to flash this, uh, you can do it there. I might do a video in the future showing you how to flash this on off dual for your own purposes. This is, to me, this is probably one of the coolest on offs because it gives you two channels unlike other ones. They do have a four channel one that I will post a link under the video if you wanted to watch the review of that one. Okay, and before I put the top on this, I'm gonna go ahead and test it without the top. So, the black is the load out. So all you do is you shove that wire in, push it all the way in, and then the neutral. This doesn't have ground, but it's okay, I guess. If you're using for small applications, you don't really need it. Okay, and for the input, I have this old power cable that I'm gonna gonna use for that. So let's see. Okay, before I connect the power, I'm gonna ch check against this wire diagram. So the two uh, outputs go into the two LEDs, then the three neutrals, and then the input is over here. Okay, so just like we have it, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Okay, looks like the relay went off, and now this little blue LED is flashing. To put this into the um, pairing mode. All you do is you open your uh, EV Link app. You hit the plus. Then it says long press the matching button, which is this one here. You press and hold until the LED blinks really fast. Okay, the LED is blinking. We hit next. We hit next. Make sure you type in the Wi-Fi information, and we pair. Okay, this is taking forever, so I'm going to skip this part. Okay, so now it's paired, and to test it out, I just... And it's working. And uh, you can also 
um, have it look like this. Then you can do timers where you can have it turn on at specific day. If you want channel one to turn on every day on Monday and Tuesday at midnight or you can do specific date if you want. So if you want your, let's say, Christmas lights on on Christmas Day at 8 o'clock at night, they will turn on. All you do is you save, and there it is. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. So uh, that's how that is. Now let's test these little pins that we have. So the far top one, I don't want to touch this because it's all hot right now. So that's ground, button zero, button one, and another ground. So if I touch my screwdriver here, it's on. If I touch it again, it's off. On, off. And it has the latching mode, so once to turn it on and twice to turn it off. And let me test the other channel. So notice this green LED is on. And the red LED is on for this channel. It's kind of hard to see it, but the red is on. It's very dim. Okay. So if you want to manually wiring your switches, you would do it there. Hope you liked the video. Um, I will post a link for other reviews of Sonoff devices. Uh, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Please comment too if you have any questions. Thanks.